Casanova College will close next fall with a projected deficit of several million dollars. Now they've entered into an agreement with SUNY Oneonta and Utica University, for example, to help their students continue their education. Yeah, News Channel 2's Kirk Tupai tells us what's happening on the ground of Utica University. The announcement that Casanova College would be closing their doors in the fall of next year came as a shock to the teaching staff at the college. Nothing is certain. So you just kind of have to like roll with the punches and, you know, stay uh, positive. That may be easier said than done for Casanova students who are entering the holiday season, studying for finals and coming out of two years of changes from the pandemic. We were in a lot of denial, so a lot of kids don't have backup plans at this moment. A lot of the sophomores and juniors right now are very, very upset. Jeffrey Gates is the Senior Vice President for Strategic Enrollment Management and Student Success at Utica University. He says the college will be dedicating a team to handle any Casanova transfers, so students will have a direct source for support. When you are forced to do something or when you're asked to do something, that's a little bit different than if you decide to do it on your own. So, so take a minute and know that you know, there's a ton of support here uh, for students and, and we're going to work with them every step of the way. I hope that that, you know, will, will ease the, the stress. And it's not just the administration welcoming Casanova students to this campus. The people here, just everyone here is very open and just welcoming. Uh, I think we have great professors and just great programs all around. So, I mean, I think they're welcome, honestly. I feel like it would be enjoyable to have new faces around, make new friends, just kind of have the college experience with people we don't know yet. I think it'd be great. I think the college is um, awesome for them to come over here. It's, it's hard to hear that their college is closing just because of financial reasons, but um, I think there's many opportunities here people can have and there's lots of great programs and, you know, I think it's a very open, accepting college. Tonight at 6, we'll tell you what transfer students should plan for and an incentive that might make that decision a little easier. In Utica, I'm Kirk Tupai reporting for News Channel 2.